Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. So, praise be to God on this amazing day, and... Well, we finally made it out of the Forward Forest last time. Even though we're far from done with it, we have explored all of it that we can. So, we're gonna go to the second world that appeared last episode, which is Tutenschleimen's Tomb, also known as just the Tomb of Tutenschleimen. Welcome to the Tomb of Tutenschleimen. This is kind of a desert world, kind of a beach world. It's pretty good, though. It also will have a lot more puzzles than the Forward Forest will have, so first by going up, we've got cattails, like we saw in the Forward Forest. These will be much more plentiful in this world. We've also got a chest up there that's on this sand sculpture that we can't get across, so what we want to do, hit this pile of sand and pick up this bullet here, and we got a cannon. We're going to throw the bullet in the cannon. And now that will destroy the statue. Thanks for letting me out. I was so hot in there, I thought I'd melt. You're looking for the Schleimian tomb? Then you should climb the stairs and go north. It's Nambi the slime. Cool. Also, the bullet will reappear there after it vanishes, which is kind of cool. Its technical term in this game is bombshell. And that was me dropping a bombshell on you. Hey, Platypunk. This is a new enemy, that's a pixie. What pixies will do is they'll walk around the course and find something to pick up, and then they'll throw it at you. And also, this is the railway station for this world. It is made of rafts. We'll also see minecarts later on, but... Oh, hi! Alright, so we're gonna pick up the pixie. There are also some jail cats lying around. Take that. We're gonna open this chest. And we got mail. One from his wobbliness, which we did not open last time. Ahem, <clears throat> you did a good job of rescuing me, boy. I'm sending you a small reward. Now make sure you rescue the others. A beechwood box once brimful of booty. You chance to find a chest. Thanks, wobbliness. I didn't really need that. I want to grow up all strong like you. I got you a present. I hope you like it. Drop one and watch their jaws do the same. Bonus! You bagged a bombshell. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So what the pixie did earlier is he ripped this out of the ground and then he tried throwing it at me. These are obelisks. You can elast a blast into them and they will fall up in the air and you can grab them. However, after you destroy them, they crack and if they hit the ground without you catching them, they will just explode. Or shatter, I guess is a better term. Doesn't actually blow up like rock bombs do, but... They are very fragile and breakable. This is also the only part, point in the game where you can get uh, uh, these obelisks. Or this is the only part of the game where they spawn, I should say. So I'm going to pick up some obelisks and just take them back to town. No big deal. I'm going to last a blast into those to just got, get rid of them. Put it some cattails on there. So these cannons here are basically what we're going to see throughout the game, uh, throughout this world. Just throw bombshells on there. And you can see that jail cat is just running non-stop into the cat uh, catnip over and over again. Yep. It's Perry. There's a platypunk checking out the tomb before. He looked like a right gala. Okay. So now that we've picked up the cattail, the cat will just be following us. Which makes him easy to pick up. You free have fun going back to town. Ooh, this is the place. So this is the tomb of Tutenschleimen, huh? Maybe the Tuten part has something to do with Tuten on that warrior flute. I should be able to blast my way in with this baby and check out what's inside. Hey, what's that shaking all about? What's going on? Ah! <laughs> Holy schmoly! I can't move an inch! It's too heavy! Hey, you there! Couldn't spare me a bit of time, could you? I just want to ask you one tiny thing, that's all. See that cannon over there? I want you to use it to blast me out of this dumb dune. Looks like you'll have to go kind of a long way around to get to it. 
Make sure you don't get lost, huh? Don't go forgetting about me or nothing. And then Perry sent us something. You're pretty brave, eh, Rocket? Yeah, you'll save a lot of us in no time. Oh, thank you, man. Rock on, it's the bomb. We get a rock bomb. So now we've got to save um, this guy, who's clearly a member of the Plob, but Rocket's a nice guy. He's going to go out of his way to save them. We also a chest up here. Bud! Hey, if you press the A button again when you're jumping, you can kind of hover. Holding the button down as you jump is the best way. I told you that, because we're best buds. <laughs> it's like a tree sapling slime. So yeah, if you jump and then hold the A button while you're jumping, you will hover. So you can do that, or... That'll be helpful to know later on in the game. Well, like this guy said, we're going to have to go the long way around if we want to save him, which we do. Politeness don't cost nothing. Get over here, platy punk. Oh, there's a chest nearby. I'll deal with you in a bit. Yahoo! You're so brave and strong for such a little fame. No one can stop you now, right? Don't forget, I'm your best friend, okay? Oh, this is something we haven't seen before. Your busy bowstring will have you boasting. You walk away with a wooden arrow. That's something we haven't seen yet. Alright, where's this slime being encased? <laughs> the party bug's just chilling, like, oh yeah, thanks for the ride, man. Really appreciate it. Let's take those four back. And we got more obel obelisks here. We might as well pick them up. And yes, we do want to get gold. Gold is important in the game. Just not right now, but it will be later. That's a lot of the stuff in this game. It's like, at the beginning of the game, it has no importance. Later on in the game, it will, though. So there's a wall here, and some other stuff on the other end of the wall. That's where the chest is. That is was shaking around a bunch. Anyhow. This is a new enemy. This is a hammer hood. When he has the hammer in his hand, he'll basically try to smash you with it, but he's not very intimidating. If he loses his hammer, he'll go into a berserk rage and repeatedly punch you. So as you're about to see... When you get close. These are also carts made of sand. If we elasto blast into them, they will be destroyed. See, so yeah, if we get close to this guy... Well, alright. Let's destroy this. If we get close to him... He's just gonna rapidly punch his way towards us. Yeah, he has a bit of a temper. And as I said, if you if he has his hammer in his hand, he's way less intimidating. Which is ironic. So as you can see, once you get the controls down, it's really easy to just not take damage in this game. You're pretty powerful. Alright. Here we've got a running river. If we get in it, it's going to push us quickly to the other side. Which means we are not going to be able to go back over here. Like, you know those bombshell fiennies? Don't worry if you fire one by mistake. Just, like, hang around in the same place for a while until another one, like, appears. Thank you, Gutrude. And actually, you can go past, back across this river, what we want to do. So if we fully charge an Elastoblast, it will actually take us across. Just something to keep in mind. Some of these r fast running rivers will be too long for you to be able to pull that off, but not all of them. So we've got Gutrude here, and what we've got here is we've got a cannon on a minecart. We need to push the minecart across the tracks in order to blow up that sand sculpture in our way. Alright. Might as well just clear all the rubble. Also, something I didn't mention, you can you yourself can jump in the cannon if you want to, and it'll launch you. 
but it's not always the best idea. So we can push it over here, now we can push it down. And now we've got this rubbish in the way, so we need to clear it out of the way. Zippy-boo! Gutrude is a she-slime. It's like a regular slime, but female and carnivorous, which is kind of interesting. That's your Dragon Quest fun fact for the day. Because besides this, the only other Dragon Quest game I have played is Dragon Quest Monsters Joker for the DS. Didn't make it far in that. Alright. Shooting the bullet there. Oh, here we go. Yay. Take them back to town, please. <laughs> and yeah, sometimes the pixies can be throwing other enemies at you. And you can actually just pick them up very easily that way. Alright. Gutrude? Wow, you're like my hero rocket. I was worried about my tan back there. Any longer in that box and I'd have totally gone back to being blue. So, like, thanks! Oh, wow, okay. Never mind. It's just a tan slime. One obscenely obstruct obtrusive offensive object. You obtain an obelisk. That feels good. Get over here, you pixie. <laughs> the cats look so happy to be on the raft. They're like, meow, where are we going? Getting run over by the minecart slash rafts actually does not damage enemies. Despite what you might think, and what physics tell you. Alright, so then we've got some rivers over here. We can go down here. More hammer hoods, alright. Also, yeah, the hammer hoods themselves can destroy the rubble, and if there are two of them punching at you, that can actually be very dangerous. I'm a collector. What can I say? I like picking things up that I can. Here, kitty. Go for a ride on that cattail. Oh, yep, that's a new enemy as well. These are mimics. They disguise themselves as treasure chests and then try to bite you. Generally speaking, they are not a threat. Even if they take you by surprise, their attack startup is so slow, you can get away pretty easily. So we're going to throw them on the rail cart, but we're going to keep this bullet because we're about to loop around and be able to save that potty punk that got stuck in the sand. Shabam! So that's going to blow this up, and now we've got another bullet here. We're going to pick this up. And once again, throw it in the cannon. Don't get in the cannon's way when you throw the bullet, otherwise that can damage you. You did it! You got me out, kiddo! No problem, man. You're not like a bad guy or anything, are you? Nice work! You saved my life. I'm Dr. Sid, the best platy punk mechanic there is. I gotta thank you for saving me. We platy punks take that kind of thing real serious. Hey, that's a pretty weird shaped foot you got there, kiddo. It's broken, ain't it? I know, I'll fix it for you. Well, that was nice of him. There, it's as good as new. Why don't you try giving it a toot? Yowzer! What's going on? Do you see that thing glistening? I don't like the look of this. I'm getting out of here. This is where the game's about to get really interesting. Well then... That's a tank. That is a freaking tank. And now it's ours. That thing's amazing! It looks like a monster tank! Hey! I got a letter from the Plob Father! 
Wonder what it says. Dr. Sid receives a letter from the Pwob Father. <laughs> Yo, Dr. Sid, looks like some slime ball saved your life. You big fat feather brain. The Pwob don't need cowards like you. And you even helped that slime ball unearth the Schlimian tank, you putz. Well, I'm clipping your wings now, Schmo. You're fired! Sincerely yours? F fired me? Fired from the plob? B but that's not possible. <laughs> you decide to have a closer look at the Schlemian tank. Or the Schleman tank. <laughs> Poor Dr. Sid, but that, that pose of his was hilarious. <laughs> oh, what am I doing here? What will become of me? I feel bad for him. Oh yeah, this is our tank. The doors open all by themselves. Hey, wait for me! I've made up my mind. I'm gonna quit the plob. I've decided to hang out with you instead. What do you say, kiddo? Hey, open up! Do you want to let Dr. Sid join you? Yes, he looks awesome. Ah, yes! The door opens for you and for the friends of you two. Wait, no, that's that's a French accent. This guy's definitely German. <laughs> Wunderbar! It looks like a monster tank from the inside, too. You look confused. Ah, it's my accent, yeah. I was pretending to be one of the plob all along. This is how I really talk. Anyway, come with me! Hmm, that's interesting. Wunderbar, you are here! Now observe the upper screen. The slime marker indicates the tank you are in now. The enormous rock in front of us will stop us getting back to town. I've been considering ways we can eliminate it. Why don't we try using the cannons? Aha! Perfect timing! This will be just right. I apologize to everyone from Germany. We can use this as ammo to fire it out of the cannons. Wunderbar! It seems we can use the cannons. Just load the ammo like I showed you. I feel like this is too French. I don't know why. Even though he's definitely German, I always pictured him with, like, a French accent. That was just me being stupid, though. That's it! It is going well! Keep up the good work! Here, I'm just gonna give him the voice I always pictured him having. What's wrong? Why isn't any ammo coming out? Go and look around the tank for some things we can use. Dr. Sid. I'm sorry, I can't do a good German accent, which is ironic because I'm actually my family has German heritage. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Maybe I could get, like, Eco Tolot to, <laughs> like, voice it. <laughs> Aha! You found something! Now we can really give it some value. Smash the rock into smithereens! Then we can go to back to town. So yeah, this is where the game gets interesting, because this game has just the overworld where we collect stuff and solve puzzles, and it has tank battles. So what we've got, we've got this giant cliff side that we're facing. So, it has 50 HP, only 44 now, and we have 100 HP. It can't attack us. So each of those boulders do 3 points of damage, and then the bombshells we have will deal 7 points of damage. So that's kind of important. And then we've got two cannons. We've got the upper cannon and the lower cannon. The upper cannon will shoot it in an upward arc, and then the lower cannon will just shoot it straight forward. Doesn't matter right now. Both cannons are going to take it to the exact same place. And also that icon on the upper left-hand corner of the lower screen, that's our tank. So we've got the upper room, the lower room, and then the side room. And then the slime icon tells you where you are. Is that the way? Keep going! Yes, we've destroyed a huge part of it now. So the ammo will just randomly spawn in a, off of a bunch of these conveyor belts, so you can wander around your tank, find ammo, pick it up, and then shoot it out of the cannon. Pretty awesome. And we've got the awesome tank march music as well. So yeah, the tank battles, that's where the game starts really getting interesting. So this should be the last volley we need. That's it! You've almost done it! Yeah, it only has 2 HP left, and it's about to be completely destroyed. We're literally just destroying a solid cliffside. 
out of our way so we can run away. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Venta, now we can go back to that town. Sublime! <laughs> I love that pun. Sublime slime. So we saved four slimes on the tomb of Tutenschleimen? We still have 13 more, though. Alright, we've got treasure chests and catnip and obelisks and a few bombshells, and then we uh, so collected some platy punk and jail cats, pixies, hammer hoods, and then one mimic. There are still freed more enemies on that level that we have not even encountered yet. Oh yeah! That was a good night's sleep. Let's see what's happening in town. This town gives me a nice warm feeling. I sure could be very ha I'm sure I could be very happy here. Oh, that's great. You decide you'd better tell his royal wobbliness about the Schlemian tank. Oh, Rocket, welcome back. Hmm? What's that? You've resurrected the Schlemian tank? That's wonderful news. I think it's Schlemian or Schlemian. Hmm, and who are you? You look like trouble to me. My name is Dr. Sid, and I will have you know that I'm Rocket's best buddy. Anyway, I've decided I would like to live here now, your, er, uh, royal wobbliness. Hmm, well, any friend of Rocket's is welcome in Slimania, I suppose. You may stay. Now, where is this Schlemian tank? I don't see it anywhere. Hmm, the Schlemian tank only appears when it's needed. When you're you up on a podium before a tank battle, you should blow the warrior flute. I've no doubt the Schleiman tank will turn up for you then, primed and ready for battle. I see! Most interesting. Well, Rocket, I will be leaving now. Slomenia is relying on you, Rocket. <laughs> hey, we got a mimic in town. How's it going, buddy? Clack, clack. It's saying hello. Alright. <laughs> hey, Hammerhood. I, I, I was born in the country. You can't beat the great, 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 great outdoors. Okay. Place is still trashed. Nothing new over there. Alright. Oh, hey, it's Stony. Ba Bam! We moved the 10 slime ton iron ball. It was just next to your house, Squishy. Now you can get to that seed of life. Don't forget it, it'll rock your world. So yeah, there used to be an iron ball here, but now we can pick this up. We already almost have an entire bar of HP, and there are only two bars of HP in the game. Oh hey, it's our best bud, isn't it? Hello, little hero. You're my best bud. I know you'll succeed. Thanks, man. I'm picking goody goody here in Boinberg. I'm looking for some work I can pick up easily. Oh, that's nice. Way to go. Have you seen that Yggdrasil stuff they've got at the church? It's like so cool. They have Yggdrasil leaves and Yggdrasil dew too. Check it out. Well, hot dog. Hey man, what's how's it going? I've decided I will open up a shop here. I'm still getting scenes set ready at the moment, but you will come back later, yeah? Yeah, I will. <laughs> I'm working really hard all the time. It's sleeping, that is. Hey, Perry. G'day, Rocket! Wanna give the world-famous Gold Coast surf Surfari a go? Just get on your surfboard and go grab as many gold coins as you can. Oh wait, this guy totally has a surfer accent. You've got 60 seconds, unless you want to quit early, in which case press start. Oh yeah, you can let your mates have a go too. Just come and ask me if you want to try it. You can let anyone download Gold Coast Safari onto the, your, their DS system and try it out. Yeah, that's not going to work if I'm playing on an emulator though. So come on, surf's up. So we can do this tiny little mini game, and you can also do local download play on this. I knew you couldn't resist. Want to hear the rules first? Um, yeah, sure, why not? Just get on your surfboard and go grab as many gold coins as you can. There's a time limit of 60 seconds, and if you want to quit early, just press start. Dead easy, right? So come on, Cobber, surf's up! Rules of the game. Get on your surfboard and scoop as many gold coins as you can. So we can jump. We can also just kind of, you know, do our own thing. Moving around is generally what I like to do. 
Oh man, I lost my momentum. So this is like an interesting little mini game. I'm not a huge fan of it. I never really did it that much. It's kind of fun though. There's, if you want to do Rocket Slime multiplayer though, I strongly recommend playing with someone who has their own copy of the game and doing download play that way. Just trust me, it is so much better than this little gold surfing game. But I wanted to show it off anyways. Oh, there's more down here. Oh, holy cow. Look at all them coins. So yeah, it's kind of a fun game. But it's not as good as the rest of it. Oh man, I almost got 2,000. High score, 1,800 coins. Oh, we beat it. That's cool. New record. Nice. Congratulations, mate! You beat the record! So to commemorate the new record, I'm gonna give you a lump of oracalcum. Careful how you use it, eh? Oh, that's really good. Hiya, mate! Reckon you can handle another go at the safari? No. Okay, so oracalcum is a really good item. Like, holy cow, really good. So what you can see is, so you'll remember we had the boulders and then the bombshells, and boulders dealt 3 damage, bombshells dealt 7 damage. Pretty soon we're going to be able to choose what ammo we want in our tank, and that's where getting items helps out. So a lot of our stuff like pom-poms, treasure chests, catnip, and boulders, and to a certain extent wooden arrows are not very good. Whereas things like obelisks, bombshells, and rock bombs are... Oh, ro bombshells actually do 8 points of damage, I'm sorry. And we've got this huge list of items. Oracalcum? Or Oracolcum, I don't know how to pronounce it. Deals 30 damage. That's a lot. Especially early on in the game. So, even though I'm, I said we're going to do one level per video, I'm going to go out again. And there's a reason. Because movie scene. Oh boy. I love that sound effect. Action or Octoon! That is the Platy Panzer! The blob are attacking! Rocket, it's time for the Schliemann tank! Go to the church and record your progress in the adventure log, then come outside. I mean, I'm not one to turn down going to church, don't get me wrong, but I don't need to save before this. Dr. Sid, so you really did do the doity on us. Shut up! I wouldn't have done this so if the plob hadn't fired me. You will all pay. The flute warrior rocket will wipe the floor with you. Do you want to call the Schliemann tank and do battle with the plob? Yes. Our first tank battle, baby. Out of nowhere, the Schliemann tank appears. Holy smoke! You got yourself some hardware! Where did that tank come from? This is no ordinary tank, this is the Schliemann tank, the tank of a true hero. Yeah, sure, you don't impress me, Sid. My tank's gonna blow you away. Let's get it on! It's the Schliemann tank, the hero rides again versus the Platy Panzer. Prepare to quack up. So this is kind of the little intro to any tank battle. Let's get it on, shall we? This will be your very first battle in the Schliemann tank. Give the plob a good pesting, yeah? I never liked them anyway. Beware! This guy will be a tough cookie to beat. Now observe the upper screen. It's the plob's secret weapon, the platy panzer. The guns on that baby are uber. Keep shooting at the enemy until you get the HP down to zero. Ah, yeah! I must warn you, there is a problem. Our ammo will be wiped out if it collides with the enemy fire. You must have both the cannons wisely used to ensure victory. So go ready, the battle is about to begin. Alright. So this is where we actually do have to use the upper and lower cannons um, properly, because if we use the lower cannon and they use the lower cannon, it's going to knock their ammo and ours out of the air. So we can use that to play defensively. If we want to play offensively, we want to use the other cannon, though. This also means there's some strategy in firing your weaker ammo first, so if they fire ammo, your stronger ammo it has a higher chance of doing it. So they just fired something out of the upper cannon, 
I'm going to throw this stuff out of the upper cannon to knock it out of the sky. And that means they're not going to damage me. What's this shooting down my fire, eh? Better watch when it's one of those cannons I'm using. So this is where we actually need a little bit of strategy. But it's our first tank battle. It's really easy. They only have half the HP we have. And they suck at firing because they can only carry one fiend on their head as opposed to three. <laughs> So this is where you just need to keep an eye on the upper screen, see what ammo they're firing, and then fire your own ammo accordingly. So they seem to only be using, really, the upper cannon. And they just fired a rock bomb, which is a much more powerful piece of ammo. But I knocked it out of the sky with one of my boulders. Keep in mind the time it takes for your, it to fire out of the cannon. There is some startup lag, so just keep that in mind. So don't expect it to instantaneously fire after you throw it in a cannon. But yeah, the tank battles get really fun, especially once you can customize your ammo. Oh yes, free bombshells. Thank you. And honestly, at this point, I don't really care if they hit me, because, again, I've got 100 HP. They only have 50. This piece of trash's HP is going down! So, yeah, I threw the boulder out of the upper cannon just to get rid of the rock bomb that was coming at me. Don't go breaking my engine now, slime ball! Rocket observes the upper screen. See the heart? That's the enemy's tank engine. Schnell, hurry, get over there and give it a good pummeling. So this is where you actually do not want to keep firing ammo. Once they have zero HP, there's really no point of firing ammo except to knock down their ammo. Instead, what you want to do is infiltrate their tank and destroy their engine. So normally this door keeps you out. There are a few ways through it, but now that their HP is at zero, it's just open all the time. So this is their tank. You did it! You wormed your way inside! Now head to the left! No, I mean the right! So they've got these computers here. If we want, we can actually destroy them. If we destroy all computers in a row, it will make their uh, the ammo that comes out of that conveyor belt catch on fire and make it harder for them to pick it up. The engine room is right at the back rocket! So normally there would be a giant door here that prevents us from going in it, but once its HP is down to zero, it blows up and we can go back here. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's the engine room. Smash your way inside. So there are these free bar barriers in our way. We just elastic uh, blast into them to destroy them. Wunderbar, now all you have to do is smash the engine itself. That's the engine right there. Just wallop it with an elasto blast. Let's make it a supercharged one. It doesn't have to be supercharged, but it looks cool. And that's it. We've destroyed their tank. Victory! You was right. That Schliemann tank of yours is a real piece of work. Wunderbar! We win! We win! The Foot Warrior ain't no easy mark. We gotta watch out. We make a great team, Rocket! Help, I'm in here. That chest must have been in the enemy tank. Quick vive rocket, get whoever it is in out. <laughs> okay, that slime would not make that sound effect. You saved me. Rocket. I picked up Huli on my radar before. He's in the tomb of Tutanchlimian somewhere. If you fight any more battles in the Schliemann tank now, it will not be pretty. It needs work. Luckily for you, I am an expert mechanic. I will assist you. So we got one slime. That actually counts as a slime in the forward forest, even though we technically didn't go there, but it needed to belong to one of the worlds. So now we're going back to town, and that's why I wanted to go out. You head back to Boinberg together with Duck Dorsid and Flantenna. This is where I will be, Rocket, doing maintenance on the Schliemann. Anything to do with the Schliemann tank? I can leave it to good old Dr. Sid, Dr. Sid, yeah. 
I will help you load and unload the ammo you will need for battle. All the items you are bringing back to town will make good ammo. But so some do more damage than others, so you must experiment to work out which are the best. Why don't we take a look at it now? Yes, please. Alright, choose your ammo wisely. So, we are going to add some ammo. First thing we want to do is add the Oracle Gum that we got earlier. It's our most powerful ammo. We're also going to add all five of our Rock Bombs, because they deal 14 damage, which is a lot, and all ten of our Obelisks. Even though this means a lot of our ammo is very fragile, it's going to be worth it. And then, after that, we're going to do Bomb Shells. They're the next best fan. So now we only have room for one more piece of ammo. So basically all this ammo will be cycling through in our tank battles. It's not like, oh, once you throw it out of the cannon, it disappears forever. No. you. I think you can keep, let's see, it's five. You can keep 30 pieces of ammo in your tank. So it basically there will be 30 pieces that will get dropped on your conveyor belts. And it'll, it'll keep reappearing after you shoot it out, which is nice. Our last thing we're going to do, I guess we'll do a treasure chest. Because that's the next most powerful thing. Even though the wooden arrow... It gets shot out of the cannon and travels faster through the air. It's weaker, so I don't like it as much. I am happy with that duck door Sid. So this is why I like foraging. One of the reasons why I like foraging for stuff. It can make good ammo. And there's another reason which we'll find out later on in the game. Alright, Flanten is here for the other wireless multiplayer option. You can use my tree radar for DS wireless communications. Do you want to try DS multi-card play or DS download play right now? So, here's the thing. DS download play, that's just the surfing minigame that we did earlier. DS multi-card play, you can battle each other in your tanks. Which is really fun. So, if you have friends that have Rocket Slime and you're playing on actual DS's, I strongly recommend that. It is very good. Anyhow, that's gonna do it for this episode. Wow, I forgot how much these episodes kill my voice. Like, first it was... Uh, first it was his royal wobbliness, and now it's Dr. Sid that kills my voice, so I'm gonna leave it... Oh, hang on, before I leave it there. Ma Nambi is playing the piano. Do you want to hear me play? I'm sure it'll relax you. Thank you, baby slime. No, that's where we're going to do it off for today. Thanks for very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Now I think you can see why I like this game so much. The tank battles make it a lot more fun. So tune in next time. We will be going back to the Tomb of Tutenschleimann because we need to save Huli, who is trapped there. Hope to see you next time. Until we meet again, everybody, have a great day and God bless.